Okay, this one's going to be about what happens in the combustion chamber of the oil furnace when there's no ignition of the uh, oil. Now the oil is atomized into droplets and then it's ignited. Well, what if the droplets are not ignited? What does it look like? Now, uh, this probably doesn't show up as much as I'd like, but there's a fog in there. And you can see that, yeah, you can pretty much see the fog going around inside there. That's the oil. Now, what if you all of a sudden lit that? Okay, now this one has been set up, and I'm showing you a view from up above. This is the heat, ex heat exchanger and combustion chamber uh, right there. And what's going to happen, I've already run it through a cycle with no uh, ignition. Now I'm waiting for the CAD cell relay to reset. And I'm going to start it again, let it build a fog in there. There's already some oil in it that's left over from the cycle when it did not light at all. I'm going to let it run for a few seconds and then I'm going to go ahead and ignite it. And you can see what happens. It's fairly spectacular and should you know, maybe give you pause occasionally. Now, when that happens, you know, it's a pretty big fire, but it's a little better contained when it's in the furnace. Uh, sometimes they will literally explode, which it'll all light at the same time, and it may blow the vent off. And of course, if there's a lot of oil in the bottom of this thing, uh, once you've lit it on fire, it's really going to burn, and you better call fire department. Uh, if there's a lot of oil in the bottom, you should not be lighting this if there's a lot of oil in the bottom. 